Karen Kova, let's join it at the start. <laughs> Well, don't blink here. Two punches in the ring. Unbeaten Wayne Alexander in fight number seven in the light middleweight up against Darren Coville of Welling in Kent, a 27-year-old who's had three first-round victories in his career, including one in 37 seconds against Gavin Barker in 1995. So both of these can hit all right. Occasionally, Alexander, his own defence has looked... A shade leaky. Alexander will almost certainly be the better technician here. Got Jimmy Tibbs and Frank Black in the corner with him tonight. Alexander's from Croydon. He's 24. What an exciting sort of fighter who might even be good enough to move through to British Championship level, but we haven't been seeing an awful lot of him. Well, he's certainly a, a prospect and he does carry a, a big punch. He's just trying, just sneaking. He was a southpaw, now he's going back to orthodox. Just sneaking out a jab, looking for a big punch. Just trying to wear Corville up. Alexander was a 1994 ABA champion in the 11 stone division, light middleweight. And on the way that year, he dispatched of all five opponents inside two rounds. Don't often get that in the amateurs. No, that's very impressive in amateur boxing. And he's carrying the, the punch through to the professionals. He's just pawing with that jab. He's looking for openings in the defense of Corville. Coville has, in the past, not looked the best technician. But he does have some power. Again, just leaving his chin a little high, Alexander. Coville didn't manage to detonate one. Now, Wayne Alexander beginning to open up. This is more what we expected after the phony war of the opening couple of minutes or so. Oh, big right hand there from Alexander. That certainly hurt Coville. That was a good attack from Alexander, but he's got to keep that chin down. He's just lifting his own chin as he throws his punches. Another right hand, and that will count, I'm sure, as a man at Drake, because he would have gone down there but for the ropes. He's saying he didn't go down, but only the reps kept him up. Ian John Lewis gives him the man at Drake. Two big rights have gone in from Alexander. This is a heavy hitter. Coville's in trouble, big trouble. Coville's trying to fight back with... Alexander, this is good pressure. Kogel's legs have gone as well, completely. Kogel might have been walking back to the corner on stilts. So wooden were his legs after that assault from Alexander, who did everything but finish that in the opener. A big round from Alexander, big barrages of punching coming in from Alexander. He really got Kogel hurt and was not going to let him off the hook. He had the overhand right is the punch that's that's doing the damage left hook just as he's going down some uh, big and effective punches from Wayne Alexander he looks a natural puncher somehow doesn't he Alexander there seems to be that bit of timing there that you see with Crawford Ashley yes he really sets himself as well good good rhythm he really sets to get big punches in Second round, Wayne Alexander looking to stretch his unbeaten start to the career to seven fights here. Can Coville bring his own punch power into play? There was a big right hand went in from Alexander there, and again, and again. That's three of all his legs have gone, it's stopped, it's over. Coville protests, but Ian John Lewis has seen quite enough. In round two, and Wayne Alexander makes it seven wins out of seven, and six of them have come inside schedule. And once again, that heavy power did the trick. Yes, the right hands were good from Alexander. The open of Corville tried to fight back at the beginning of the round, but as soon as he did, he opened himself up, and Alexander found the gaps in the defence 
there's the overhand right hand just behind that jab i think he he gets another big right there that was the the one that really took everything out of darren corville looks exciting doesn't he wayne alexander the only man who's taken in the distance so far is the 100 fight veteran paul murray that was a couple of years ago but everyone else has been bowled over chilled by the force of alexander's punching Well, he protested there, Corville, but he was certainly badly hurt. The legs were all over the place there. No balance there. He's saying I'm all right, but he certainly wasn't. Good stoppage. Ladies and gentlemen, after 22 seconds of the second round, referee Ian John Lewis stopped the fight. Darren Corville in no position to continue. The winner, Wayne Alexander. And a round of applause to show appreciation for Darren Coville. He keeps knocking him out.